I'm going to show you here how to instruct LaTeX to display a table on its side. And the notes I'm going to use to help demonstrate this are notes that Professor Seaton wrote for his Applied Calculus class, and it's the just notes on differentiation. But this particular set of notes has two tables in it, and we are looking at the first table. And so without doing anything, let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to process the file and view it, and this is the table that you see here which looks fine until you notice that the table sticks out some way past the ending of the text. Now that might not be a problem, it wasn't here, but in other circumstances it can be for certain printing regulations. You might not be allowed to ha have your tables go past the end of the text. And also it might be that you have a table that is genuinely too long, it falls off the edge of the page. Now the solution, one solution for both of those problems is to have the table run from the bottom of the page up to the top of the page rather than from left to right. And LaTeX does have the facility for doing that and the environment that brings that up is called sideways table. So we have to change our table environment into a sideways table environment. But not just that. That environment is defined, the rules, the typesetting rules for it, are given in, a, in an additional package. It isn't within the core set of commands of LaTeX. So once we've changed table to sideways table, we have to go up to the top of the document and add in a package. The package is called rotating. But first let me type in the sideways table something strange happened with my typing, there we go and then go up to the top of the table and add in the package rotating. Now LaTeX will understand what sideways table means because it will have read the rotating package before reading the rest of the document. So we'll process this, I'll save it and then process it. It's exited normally, now view it. Now, our original setting, there's no table, but if we scroll up, there's our table. It's on page three all by itself, going from the top to bottom. Although, the way it's displayed now, it's, it's rather wonky. And the reason why is because the left-hand edge of the table is right down at the, begin the bottom of the document, and the right-hand edge of the table is some way short of the top of the, of the page. And really what we want to do to make this look presentable is to have the table be in the center of the page. Now if we ever want to have content centered, and we often do, um, LaTeX has to adopt a different set of typesetting rules. And the way you make LaTeX adopt different types of, different set of typesetting rules is to create an environment, to, to put stuff in an environment. So let's go back to the tech document and down to the table. And it's the main body of the table that we want to be centered. The caption already was centered, if you'd noticed. So we want to put the stuff I've highlighted in blue within an environment that's centered and that environment is called center. So if I create a new line after label and say begin center and notice this time late, uh, Tech Studio has not helped me by adding in an end center that's because it would be ra uh, sort of ambiguous to Tech Studio where that would go although I know that it goes after end tabular and before 
end sideways table. So I've created a line and I'm going to type in manually end center. And now the content in between those two things will be centered, which is what I was wanting. So I'll process that file. There it is. And view it. And now you will see that it's in line with the caption and looks just glorious.